G'day folks, it's Rob here and welcome to our backyard farm. In today's clip I'm going to have a bit of a chat to you about growing blueberries in containers. Uh, not this dear old lady here who's just started to flower, but four new plants that we've purchased that I want to grow in some root pouches in a little bit of a wicking setup up near the house. Now the variety I'm growing out was actually recommended to me by a Patreon patron, Kate. Thank you very much, Kate. She's also growing some herself. They're called Blueberry Burst, and it's been developed here in Australia by the folks at PlantNet. Now, it is a dwarf plant. It's an evergreen as well. It probably only grows to around about a metre tall or three foot tall, so it is great for container gardening. It's also got very large fruit, said to be three times the size of a normal blueberry that you might find in the stores, and is an early season crop as well. So it will um, fruit before this dear old lady here, so we'll have a nice continuing supply for a couple of months. Now growing blueberries in containers is a great option for most of us as it does give us greater control over the pH of the soil blend we use to grow the plants. Now the reason we want to take control over the pH of the soil with the blueberries is that they're calcifuges, which is basically another word for an acid loving plant that doesn't like soil that is alkaline or has a high pH level. They actually prefer a very low pH, anywhere from 4 to around about 5.5, depending on the variety that you're growing. So I'm actually looking forward to see what sort of a harvest Kate gets from her plants, as hers should fruit before ours, and yeah, next year we'll be able to um, compare the harvest. So anyway, we'll leave it there, and we'll take a wander up closer to the house and in the shade, and we'll have a look at mixing up the soil and then potting these little ladies out. So now comes time to plant this little lady out. I'm using a 56 litre or roughly a 15 gallon container. It's actually a root pouch. Normally they recommend a 50 to 60 centimetre pot when you're growing blueberries in containers. This one's a little bit smaller, but I'm not too concerned at all, mainly because it is a smaller, more compact variety of blueberry. Not only that, the root pouch itself with its fabric walls will allow the plants to air prune themselves, which means they will have a healthier root system than in a normal plastic or terracotta pot. So the soil blend I'm using is the one recommended by PlantNet for their, all their blueberry plants. It's going to be 50% coarse pine bark, which is 10 to 25 millimetres in size, or roughly just under half to an inch in size, and also to camellia and azalea potting mix. Camellias and azaleas are both acid-loving plants, so it makes sense to use that potting mix in your containers for blueberries as well. Now I am adding in a few of my own amendments. I'm adding in a little bit of my own sifted compost. There'll be soil biology in there that will help make nutrients plant available. I'm also adding in a small amount of slow release chicken pellet fertilizer. That will hopefully break down over the coming months and become plant available. And from there, all I've done is grab the garden fork and given the ingredients, so to speak, a good mix around in the wheelbarrow. So to begin with, all I'm going to do is add in the blend and make a mess as you can probably see. So what I'm going to do now is just place the pot in there, give this a bit of a bounce around, firm down the soil a little bit and backfill around it. And what I'm hoping is going to happen is I can pull that pot out, remove the blueberry from it and then pop it straight into the hole that was left behind. So I might just leave it there just firm this down a little bit, pop the pot out, turn it upside down, give it a bit of a squish, and now I can pop it just straight back in there, and then backfill up to the top of the soil there. And there we go, that's pretty much all it. One potted up blueberry, on to the next three. So with the leftover pine bark, I use that as a mulch over the top of the pouches just to help slow down any evaporation from the surface of the soil itself. They're also watered in with an eco seaweed liquid fertilizer. It's a nice gentle fertilizer just to help the plants settle into the pouches. When it comes to fertilizing blueberries, I pretty much will do it just once a year leading up to when they start to flower and fruit. I put a small sprinkle of the slow release organic pellets down, cover that up with some homegrown compost and then a layer of mulch again on top and that's pretty much all it. 
They do recommend giving the plants a good feed during the flowering and fruiting stage though. So I'll be using the Eco Seaweed because it's 16% potassium. I'll just be feeding it probably every second, third week. I'll give it a nice little um, liquid feed and that should really help in the flower and fruit formation. Now, as you can see, I've got mine in a tray. Uh, you don't need to do that. That's just the way I like to garden. Any extra moisture, as you can see down the base there, gets trapped and can be used by the plants. And as you can see over the back of my banana pouch garden, uh, there is some water in the tray. I leave it in there. The plants use it up over about a um, 12 to 24 hour period and any mosquito larvae in there die off. So it's not a mosquito hazard. And I have seen other people put rocks around the base of their trays and that just stops any mosquitoes getting to the water itself. By the way, you don't need to have um, root pouches to use this tray method. You can buy trays at the hardware store that you can sit your pot plant in and do exactly the same thing. Um, I'm just doing it on a slightly larger scale just with those pouches there. And as you can see, a couple of banana trees in a pouch there. So these guys really are easy to grow in containers, as long as you keep in mind that you do need that specific soil blend from the hardware or nursery store. Uh, just quickly, as for watering these guys, just for the time being, they will be wicking up water from the tray later on, but just until they're established, I'll be doing the digit test, basically popping that down into the soil blend, seeing if it's moist or dry, and then watering appropriately from there. Just quickly, at the start of the clip, I mentioned Kate suggested these blueberry plants to us. I need to thank all the rest of the awesome patrons over there on our Patreon page. Um, your contributions basically helped buy these trees or bushes and the soil mix that went into these pouches here. So thank you very much, folks. Uh, also, if you would like to check out our super contributors from Patreon, their names and links and um, Facebook groups are all in the description below, so go check them out. You could even say g'day to them in the comment section below if you feel like it. If you are interested in Patreon, you can check it out through that little link up there. I do hope that everyone who has stuck around this far has enjoyed the clip. Um, you can stick around a little bit longer after it's finished. There'll be a little section uh, just showing one of our native bees pollinating a blueberry flower from last year. It's amazing they can actually fit in there, I think. I do hope you're all well and happy and that your gardens are booming and I will catch you next time. Cheers folks, have a top one.